Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to take up the sixth numerical on sampling theorem. Let me read out the question first. A signal G of t consists of two frequency components F1 equals 3.9 kilohertz and F2 equals 4.1 kilohertz in such a relationship that they cancel out each other when g of t is sampled at the instance t equals 0, t, 2t, 3t, etc., where t equals 125 microseconds. Please note capital T is the sampling period. The signal g of t is given by g of t equals cos 2 pi f1 t plus pi by 2 plus a into cos 2 pi f2 t plus phi. Find the values of a and phi of the second frequency component. Let us start with the solution part. I will start by writing down the equation for g of t as given in the numerical. Let me call this as equation 1. It is given that g of t is equals to 0 for t equals 0, capital T, 2t, etc, etc. That means whenever t is equals to n into capital T, where n is any integer, g of t equals 0. So, I can write it as g of n capital T is 0. Okay, so now I'll substitute t is equals to n into capital T into equation 1 and I'll equate it to 0. Therefore, cos of 2 pi f1 into n t plus pi by 2 plus a into cos of 2 pi f2 into n capital T plus phi is equal to 0. Let us now substitute the values for f1 and f2. It is given that f1 is equals to 3.9 kilohertz and f2 is equal to 4.1 kilohertz. I will substitute these two values into equation 2 which is our the equation shown here. So therefore, cos of 2 pi multiplied by 3.9 into 10 to the power of 3 into 125 into 10 to the power of minus 6 multiplied by n plus pi by 2. This is the first part. Then we have plus. Let us now substitute for the second part which is a into cos of 2 pi multiplied by 4.1 into 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 125 into 10 to the power of minus 6 multiplied by n plus phi and this is equal to 0. When I simplify this it will become cos of 0 0.975 n pi plus pi by 2 plus a into cos of 1.025 n pi plus phi equal to 0. We will call this as equation 3 and this will be an important equation. Now here let us substitute for n equals to 0 and try to simplify. So in the first case I am going to take let n equal to 0. When n equal to 0 equation 3 reduces to cos of pi by 2 plus a into cos phi equals to 0. Now cos pi by 2 is 0 therefore a into cos phi equals to 0. Now we are told to find both a as well as phi. However, we note that a cannot be 0. Since a cannot be 0, the only possible way this equation, which I will call it as equation 4, equate to 0 
is when phi is equal to plus or minus pi by 2. Okay, I repeat the only way equation 4 will become equal to 0 is when phi is equals to plus or minus pi by 2 because we have assumed a cannot be equal to 0. Let us now substitute n is equal to plus 1 into equation 3. So, when n is equals to plus 1, equation 3 reduces to cos of 0 0.975 pi plus pi by 2 plus a into cos of 1.025 pi plus or minus pi by 2. Please note phi is assumed to be plus or minus pi by 2. So, I have to maintain the same terminology. Then this is equal to 0. Since cos of x plus pi by 2 is equals to minus sin x, I will write the first term as minus sin of 0 0.975 pi. Then cos of x plus or minus pi by 2 is minus or plus sin x. So, it will be minus or plus into a into sin of 1.025 pi and this is equal to 0. Now, if you look at the first term here, what we have is minus of sin of 0 0.975 pi. I can write this term as minus sin of pi minus of. Now, I cannot write this term what is there here, but I have to write pi minus of this value. So, it will be 0 0.025 pi. Then we have the minus or plus symbol. Then we have a. Now we have sin of 1.025 pi. Now please note it is greater than 1. So I can write this as sin of pi plus. Now I have to take the difference between pi and 1.025 pi. So it will be 0 0.025 pi. And this is once again equated to 0. We know that sin of pi minus x is simply sin x. So, it will be minus of sin of 0 0.025 pi. Now, before I write the minus or plus symbol, let us look into the second term here. In the second term, what you have? Sin of pi plus x. Please note, sin of pi plus x is minus of sin of x. So, when I take the minus of sin of x, the minus or plus symbol here becomes plus or minus symbol. Therefore, it will be plus or minus a into sin of 0 0.025 pi and this is equated to 0. Right. Let me just rewrite this equation once again for more clarity. Right. So, now look at this equation carefully. Let me call it as equation 5. The first term is minus sin of 0 0.025 pi. The second term is sin of 0 0.025 pi with a plus or minus symbol. If you look at the LHS and the RHS here, the idea is to make them equal. If you calculate it carefully, you will find that the LHS will become 0 only when the plus or minus symbol here is taken to be plus and the value of a is equal to 1. I am going to repeat again. The LHS in equation 5 will become equal to RHS only when the plus or minus symbol here is taken as plus and the value of a is equal to 1. So, when that happens, minus sign of x plus 1 into sin of x which will create 0. So, LHS and RHS will become equal. I am going to write down that point here. Equation 5 is satisfied only when capital A equals 1 and a plus sign is taken for the second term. Okay, this is a very, very important point. 
Now that we have found the value of a equals to 1, now we will see when will the positive sign appear for the second term. For this, we will have to go back to equation 3 here. Now look at equation 3. The only way a plus sign will appear for the second term of equation 5 will happen when the value of 5 in equation 3 is equals to plus pi by 3. You can just try to evaluate. So, I am going to write down that sentence as well. Therefore, finally, we can now write the value of a is equal to 1 and the value of phi is equal to plus pi by 2. This is the solution for this numerical. Right. If you like this video, Kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.